Now I'm here to show you that it doesn't get worse. <laughs> okay. This is just like the last problem that we did. There's some unknown number <laughs> we've got to find, right? So define your variable appropriately. <coughs> So just let x equal the number. And thank you for all those out there who said bless you even though you're watching a video. <laughs> the sum, what does the word sum mean? Total. You're, plus you're adding though. You say total, but it's through addition. What, and what two things are we adding here? The sum of what two pieces? X squared. The square of a number, x squared, and the other part of the sum is what? 15. 15. Equals, how would you write 8 times the number? 8x. 8x. All right, so well, you're going to subtract the 8x, right? And when you do that, make sure you put your terms in descending order. So that's minus 8x plus 15. If you put plus 15 and then minus 8x, that's not the order that we like to have when we're trying to factor. Now remember, this still is equal to zero. If you don't have it equal to zero, then you're not doing it right. Okay. So how do you factor this guy? Five and three. Negative five. Well, X minus five. So X minus five, five and X minus, three. X minus three equals zero. So that means that X equals what? Five. X equals five or X equals so these are just super difficult word problems. Just give up on them, right? Never. Like they said in the movie Galaxy Quest, never give up, never surrender. If you didn't see that movie, you should. It's a... Uh, yeah, it was a Corey Hart song. No, the movie starred Tim Allen, Tim Sigourney, Weaver, Sigourney Weaver, Uh, Tony Shalhoub. Uh, oh, what's his name? He was in Robin Hood. He was the bad guy. Rickman, Alan Rickman. There we go. So, you solve this, you say the numbers are 5 and 3. We found the numbers. Are we happy?